Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got this cutie little post-it pad cover. I've been making these for a really long time. They're a super sweet gift. I made these for my kitchenette who um, invested time and money in their business and went to on stage at home in November. I wanted to send them something sweet and handmade to let them know that I appreciate their involvement in the Kitchenettes team and in Stampin' Up! So I thought these would be a cute and useful gift. Let me show you what you need here. I got this little party pen. These are always exciting to try to find. Everybody asks, where do you get them? Um, party stores. They're generally a little bit more expensive there. Um, sometimes Walmart and their party favors. Sometimes Dollar Tree. And once in a while, Amazon. They are a hunt. They're a three-inch pen and most of the time they're categorized with party favors. I've got sticky notes. This is a three by three pad and you can pick up the three by three pads. Um, on Amazon you can get a nice size pad for a decent price. I'll try to put the link for this one that I use all the time. Very good price. I've got a couple of pieces of cardstock. Let me show you what I got here. This is Misty Moonlight and it's seven and three eighths by three and a quarter. I have a Whisper White Circle. We cut this one ahead with the uh, stitched shapes dies. This is one and seven eighths inch stitched circle. And then I've got a scrap of Seaside Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and punch that with the Everyday Label Punch. Love this punch. All right, my designer series paper is from the Dandy Garden designer series paper. It's a six by six pack that's new to the January, June mini catalog. These pieces are two and seven eighths by two and a quarter and two and seven eighths by one. All right, let me slide these to the side. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna score the cover of our notebook. The neat part about this is you can get three out of a sheet of cardstock. Got my simply scored tool here. Let's pop our cardstock in on the three or on the seven and three eighths inch side. And we're gonna score this one at three and an eighth, three and a half, and three and seven eighths. If you were going to do these in bulk, you would keep your paper so that it was, or you would cut your paper so that it was seven and three eighths by nine and three quarters. You do your scoring all the way down and then cut it into three and a quarter inch pieces. So you'd score once for every three covers. It's a really great project to make for craft fairs or for gifts. Now we're going to take our bone folder and just work these score lines. Now when you work them back, you're going to work them so that the larger panel, the one on your right side here, you're going to score that one on the final score line closed, on the center score line open, and on the final that score line closed. So you've got a little M, a mountain valley mountain fold. All right, so that's how it's going to be when we're all said and done, finalized. We're going to quickly reverse that for just a second, and we're going to cut from the middle score line, stopping when we hit the score line. You see, give it about an inch or so, cut, stop at the score line. Now we're gonna reverse our fold back the way that it was and pop out the center. So see, we're gonna push here on the center Now we've got a little loop for our pen. 
I like tear and tape here. We're gonna go, we've still got this largest segment, the back cover towards us. And in between the first and second score line, stopping at the cuts, you're gonna add some strong adhesive. Remove the liner. Burnish. Pop out the center. There's your. While we've got the tear and tape, let's go ahead and put our notepad in the cover. I like to take a little tear and tape right along the edge, right on the backer. My tear and tape's all sticky. Let's go ahead and pop that guy in. You want an equal top, right, and bottom border. And then burnish that adhesive down. Pretty cute, huh? Already. Let me show you the two samples. Let's finish this guy up. Let me grab some stamp and seal. We'll adhere our designer series papers to cover the front. Get a little contrast between that bumblebee and misty moonlight. I love pulling that color combination out of this pack of paper. Okay, you're looking for a nice even border all the way around. So your bumblebee and your misty moonlight patterns will overlap a bit. Go ahead and adhere our everyday label. Leave plenty of room for the dragonfly right of center. Let's do some stamping. Got our stitched circle. Let's ink up the greeting. I love this. Make good things grow all year long. What a, what a good sentiment. All right, we're gonna stamp that high of center in the stitched circle. So pretty. Now we need a scrap of Whisper White for our dragonfly. I'm gonna stamp him with some Misty Moonlight. This is the dragonfly with a solid body. Let me show you the dragonfly garden stamp set. So there's two dragonflies that coordinate the dragonfly punch and we're using this guy with the solid body here this time so a little open body they have different wing patterns i love the spray of wildflowers isn't that great and the sentiments are really nice you're an inspiration for a true friend may good things grow all year long and thank you for your kindness super useful stamp set we're stamping with misty moonlight, but then we're gonna fill in the wings with seaside spray. We're gonna use this kind of artistic spray. And don't worry, looks like it's only made for half and it doesn't fill in the other half perfectly, but look at, it gives you that idea of being sprayed, filled in, but it's got a little spattered look. It's very artistic and it works out just fine. Then once you punch it out, it looks just lovely. Okay, well that dries for just a second. Let's adhere. Make good things grow all year round. And got these super sweet little ladybug trinkets. Let's grab one of those guys, set that aside, and a little linen thread. Let's make a bow. kind of a big loopy bow letting the tails hang a little long I like the neutral color that it brings and the texture for linen thread I like just a little dab of multi-purpose liquid glue 
we're gonna put that guy right above the circle kind of on the label make it a tag the tails are so curly because the ribbon was on a spool you can kind of direct them by just pulling between your thumb and index finger the friction will kind of shape the tails a little bit got a mini glue dot here we can just pop the little bug on the glue dot and then over the knot isn't that beautiful the metal the twine the neutral colors that it brings in let's go ahead and punch our dragonfly For a little bit of excitement, we'll lift the wings. Just hold the body, fold the wing up. That gives us a nice place for our adhesive. And just scribble a thin coat of multi-purpose liquid glue. Now we're gonna angle the wings right up along the sentiment so it doesn't cover any of the words, but nests right in there up against. It's like this sentiment was made for these dragonflies. There we go. Pop a little pen in there. And there are our post-it covers, our sticky note covers. If you've got any questions about the project or about joining Stampin' Up! with my team, the Kitchenettes, if there's anything I can do to help you stay crafty, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and the shop Stampin' Up! 24-7. You can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.